Hello everyone, this is Relative Security and we are going to continue with our journey for SOC Analyst course. Today we are going to discuss about the technology part of the Security Operations Center, the role of technology, the benefits of it, what tools are being used and what a SOC Analyst needs to know. So when it comes to technology within the SOC, Technology plays a crucial role in empowering the security operation center analysts by providing them with advanced tools and capabilities to effectively monitor, detect, and respond to the security incidents. So if we divide all those things, monitoring, detection, and response, and correlate with their activities, and how and what exactly are they monitoring, the first thing that comes into mind is the data. So it is the technology that enables them to collect and process a large amount of data. The technology tools automate the analysis and correlation of logs and security events from various sources, making it easier for the SOC analyst to identify the patterns anomalies and the potential threats within those logs that have been collected. These tools help streamline the analysis process, saving time and enabling analysts to focus on the critical security incidents. Similarly, when it comes to incident response, the technology solutions facilitate the incident response workflows. They provide analysts with the structured processes and playbooks to follow during the security incidents. Because playbooks are important, once you have predefined playbooks within your own processes and they are well integrated into them, security analysts are familiar with them, it becomes very easy for the SOC analyst to execute the playbook for any particular incident which may arise. So these incident response platforms help track and manage incidents, assign tasks, collaborate with the team members, and ensure timely solution. Similarly, when it comes to automation and orchestration, the SOC analysts benefit from the automation and orchestration tools that help streamline repetitive tasks and workflows. Automation can help with the tasks like log analysis, threat hunting, and at some scale, incident response as well, which allows analysts to focus on more complex security challenges rather than doing the repetitive tasks. Lastly, the threat intelligence, the SOC analyst leverages this to stay updated on the latest threat actors tactics and incident and indicators of compromise. So if the threat intelligence feeds are integrated into the workflows, analysts can proactively identify and respond to the known threats and emerging attack patterns. So this is how a technology can play a role within SOC. So what are the benefits of using this technology aspect? within the SOC. The first and foremost would be the flexibility and scalability. The technology solutions can scale to handle the increasing volume of data and the complexity of the security events. They provide flexibility to adapt to evolving threats and support the growth of security operations as the organizational needs change. You can quickly um, change your processes. You can quickly adapt different solutions according to the needs that may arise within your security operation center. Then you're collecting a huge amount of data and the technology tools that you're using in the SOC, they can provide you advanced analytics, visualization dashboard, and reporting capabilities, which enables data-driven decision-making, helping SOC analysts identify trends 
assess risks and communicate security insights to the secured stakeholders effectively. For example, based on the data that you have, you can analyze that data and identify the patterns within an environment and raise it with the relevant stakeholders that these kind of patterns are being seen. Once you have identified the patterns, once you have, or if you have the baseline of events that may happen within any environment, then you can easily identify the anomalies in that environment. Similarly, the technology can enhance the ability of a SOC to detect and respond, respond to the security incidents promptly. It will provide you real-time monitoring, automated alerts, and advanced analytics that enable SOC analysts to identify and mitigate threats swiftly. Lastly, increased productivity and improved threat visibility, which is very important because the technology that you will be using, the tools that you will be using within the Security Operations Center, they provide you a comprehensive visibility into the network traffic, log, security events to better understand the potential threats. This kind of visibility enables proactive approach and you can timely respond to the emerging risks, whatever risks are uh, may arise in the security operations. So let's talk about different tools that you can use in the security operation. The first and foremost is your SIM, security information event management. Second would be the SOAR, security orchestration and automated response. EDR, endpoint detection and response. Extended detection and response. XDR and managed detection and response. We'll just discuss each one of them. So SIM is a technology that centralizes and analyzes security event logs and information from various sources across an organization's network and systems. It collects data from logs, alerts, and events generated by the network devices, applications, and security tools. SIM platforms provide real-time monitoring, correlation, and analysis of this data to identify potential security incidents, identify patterns, and generate alerts. One thing important to note about SIM solution is that it is primarily focused on log management, event correlation, and compliance reporting. It helps organizations meet regulatory requirements and gain visibility into the security events within their infrastructure. To understand more about the SIM technology, you can go through a video on this channel, what is a SIM solution? In that, we have discussed in detail about the architecture, different SIM solutions available in the market, how the SIM solution works, which would be very helpful for the understanding of the SIM solution. The next we're going to discuss is the EDR, Endpoint Detection and Response. As the name says, Endpoint, it refers to a cybersecurity solution that focuses on monitoring and responding to threats on endpoints, such as individual devices or servers. EDR tools collect and analyze endpoint data, including logs, processes, network activity, to identify the suspicious behavior and potential security incidents. They provide real-time visibility into the endpoint activities, whatever is happening on the endpoints, and enable rapid incident response and remediation. They typically leverage advanced techniques like behavioral analysis, machine learning, and threat intelligence to enhance threat detection and response capabilities at the endpoint level. When we talk about the XDR, or the extended detection and response tool is more of an evolution of the cybersecurity solutions that seeks to go beyond the individual endpoints or networks and provides extended visibility and detection capabilities across multiple environments. 
XTR will integrate data from various sources such as endpoints, networks, cloud platforms, and applications into a centralized platform. By analyzing and correlating the data from multiple sources, XTR enables more comprehensive threat detection, faster incident response, and improved visibility into the complex cyber attacks. The next is managed detection and response. Managed detection response is a security service that combines technology, expertise, and 24 by 7 monitoring to detect and respond to security incidents. Managed detection and response service providers typically offer a holistic approach by monitoring and analyzing the network, endpoints, and the cloud environments. The service will involve continuous monitoring, threat hunting, incident response, and remediation, often provided by a third party vendor. So, the main aim of this service will be to provide the organizations with a proactive and comprehensive security solution, leveraging advanced tools, threat intelligence, and security experts to effectively detect, investigate, and respond to cyber threats. Now, XDR itself, sorry, MDR itself is not specifically a tool. Instead, it's a service that is usually provided by the uh, third-party vendors. Now, you could be a SOC analyst in the MSSP or the MDR service provider, or you could have your own in-house uh, in-house service, in-house SOC that you are providing service for to your internal organization. So when it comes to the SOAR, SOAR is the security orchestration and automation, automated response tool. As we've discussed about the alert fatigues, because there are lots of alerts coming up within any uh, SIM solution. So to respond to those threats and remediate incidents faster, the SOAR platform brings in alerts from different data sources to a single dashboard for investigation and response. Now, if you have already defined playbooks for your regularly occurring false positives or even true positives, those playbooks can be executed automatically without your L1 to have the need to go and analyze that particular alert. So this is where the SOAR comes in. Using automation to bridge the gaps, artifact correlation, investigation, and case prioritizations, these are all different things that you can automate before someone even touches any case. Your playbooks, your own solutions, they will evolve as the investigation proceeds with threat enrichment happening at each stage of the process. So what you need to know is, be it any tool, is it an XTR, MDR, SIM, what you need to understand is, what is the purpose of that tool, not in general, but why that tool was installed within your environment or within the environment that you are monitoring, one thing. Secondly, understand the context of that particular tool within that environment. How is it talking to rest of the devices? For example, if there is a SIM solution, SIM solution itself, yes, we understand. It's a log management solution and it provides the, based on the use cases that you have enabled, it provides you alerts. However, you need to understand that what are the different tools, other tools or the devices that are feeding into your SIM solution. As we have discussed in the other video that we discussed before, garbage in, garbage out is the policy for the SIM solution. So you need to understand that what are the different devices that are feeding into your SIM solution based on that, how it is configured and what are the outcomes of that particular SIM solution. The same approach needs to be adopted for all the different solutions that you are monitoring. Next, you need to understand who are the main users. Is it just you? 
uh, who's the administrator because if there is something wrong or if you want to change the configuration you need to know that who con who to contact what is its value for the SOC um, maybe it's a firewall maybe it's an IDS IPS whatever tools you are monitoring or whatever tools you are in you have integrated with your security dev devices for example sim or xd or nbr you need to have the holistic approach and understanding of the complete tools that you are using or you have within your environment so that you can provide a better service so this is the video regarding the tools and everything uh, hopefully in the next video we will talk about the people within the SOC operations Hopefully you would have liked the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.